Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's that time of the month again where Star Stable squeezes out another horse. Today we're gonna take a look at the new Welsh ponies that are available at South Hoof. I think they replaced the old ones at the Hermit's Cottage. Um, and there's a few other little things that kind of came with them and some minor details about the game that I'll get into later. I've been kind of excited about these horses. I didn't look at any spoilers. I didn't set up any expectations for these. I just saw their model as a sneak peek and that's pretty much it. I didn't even look at the release video. And considering the complete disappointment with the Appaloosas last time. <laughs> what the hell? That, that left front leg is kind of floating. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? <laughs> this one should be good, I'm really hoping. I hope they didn't recycle too much. I've been kind of lazy with the latest horse reviews, so we're gonna bring back the scoring system. I got my paper with me, my pencil, and we're gonna bring back interviewing some strangers because I feel like that was fun. If anyone is online, it's pretty early. Okay, so of course there's one at Fort Pinta. Oh no. The one at Fort Pinta is the, the gray, the white gray. I actually like the face marking a lot. I like blazes on grays because you can really see it. But why are his eyes like that? Why are his eyes like neon green? Who made that decision? <gasps> oh, you poor pony. <laughs> he looks like he got into some toxic waste or something. The little main braid is cute, but I also feel like it's kind of small, like a little too small to even be noticeable. From a distance, I definitely would see that. But the detail on the on the hair is actually really nice. Definitely more detailed than the last horse. Oh. They're all here. I don't remember which I don't even know if they showed the one that's gonna be on the app in the teaser, but that's fine. Okay. We have a bay roan here, also known as a purple roan. Okay, open your eyes. No, that's too open. This one also has green eyes. Why? I really liked this one until they ruined it with the green eyes. I really hate that. The blaze is also kind of strange. I've never seen it go so far up the mouth like that without having a splash gene. If you don't know what splash is, it's just a, uh, it's a paint marking. I'm waiting for him to, like, flick his forelock so I can see the rest of his face. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can barely see, but this turns into... So it's like a, it's like a star and then a large snip with a thin... I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of weird looking, too. I feel like it would look better if the... The stripe was wider, and he's got sockies. I do like the hair detail. It's very clear, like a roaning effect, and the main ombre is really nice looking, but green eyes, I'm not buying it. Green eyes only occurs, um, I, I don't even think that's a thing, really. I think it's just a mutation. And then I know champagne horses get amber eyes sometimes. Okay, this is a black one. It's actually really cute. It's got one sake. It's a very solid black. There's not a lot of color tones in this and his eyes are also black. The highlights are like purple toned though, which I'm not a fan of. And then he's got a little tiny snip the stripe. I like that face marking. Okay, there is a star up there. That's really cute, actually. Okay, and then we got a flaxen chestnut with a full blaze and really dark brown eyes. Step back here. Excuse me, Dakota. Okay, and some socks. That's weird. I know- I noticed this- I'm noticing this on my paint horse, too. There's striping on the hooves, but 
there's no spot that's causing the stripe. You could see on the front right, that's accurate. It's all the white that's touching the hoof turns the hoof white. And then there's a spot that's chestnut, it's hard to see. And that leaves the rest of the horse, uh, the hoof gray. But then up like on the back left, it's doing the same thing, but that would have to mean that the sock would only be in one spot right here, and the rest of this would be chestnut. I guess... I guess if this is supposed to be just a lighter color of chestnut, but you can clearly see it's all white. I don't know how to feel about that one. The hooves are a big no-no for me, but I also... I don't know. It's not my favorite shade. Uh, and then there's an Isabella Palomino, which just means a very light color of Palomino that has a very wide blaze, brown eyes, and Sabino markings. The Sabino is really cute. I wish that was on the black, the black one though. And it has really intense dapples that I, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about those. I've never seen a horse with dapples that is so extensive that it even appears like right here. I feel like that was kind of lazy. They didn't, um, <clears throat> they didn't fade them out very well. So it just kind of looks like a weird spotty effect. It doesn't really look like dapples to me. Uh, and then the liver chestnut, which looked better in the video. What the hell? So we got this this liver chestnut that has like a an ashy kind of coat, but the mane is very intensely colored in comparison. Okay, this one's have makes sense. I will zoom in here if I can. There's a white spot here, therefore rendering the part of that hoof white. This one doesn't quite make sense because I don't see any brown there. Oh, yes I do. It's very subtle. And then this spot makes the hoof. I like that. I'm not a fan of how this kind of fades out. It doesn't really make sense. And then his eyes are a little lighter brown. So far, I don't think any of these have heterochromia, which I, I, I think a few people might be upset, but it makes me kind of happy. I actually, this was my favorite. This was the one I was gonna get. So while I think of a name for this horse, we can talk about some other stuff that I saw in the news. The Gen, they're calling them Gen 1.5. Akiltikis and uh, Appaloosas are being retired for good. That means similar to the original first fjords, um, you won't be able to buy them anymore permanently, which will therefore make them a very rare horse to have. I know that Marley's Farm got an update and I wanted to look at that, but in a different video. I know we won't have time in this one. These ponies came with show bridles, which was pretty incredible. They have a flash and everything. I looked at them, but they only fit the Welsh ponies and they promised that they would fit future horses, which is kind of bizarre to me because I don't know why they wouldn't scale them to fit all the newest horses that came before the Welsh ponies. They look very similar. They're the same generation. Uh, I'm hoping in the future that they'll fit previous horses like the Paint Horse and the Appaloosa and the Arabian. I kind of want to name him something stupid. <laughs> Egg Machine. <laughs> Let's do Egg something. Hang on, let me let me consult my friends. <laughs> Egg Man. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, Lexi. Egg Man. Perfect. Um, I will just stand here and talk about the colors. So, I couldn't find, um, at least not in the Star Stable official, anything about the app horse or what it might look like. I have a feeling it might be a paint, but I'm really not sure. So, just considering the colors that we saw today, these were all the colors that were also in the Star Stable released video. Out of a five, maybe like a 3.5? I'm not a huge fan. Some of the shades were a little off looking. 
and the hooves were wrong and some of them had two two of them had green eyes <laughs> now i will whip out this horse and we can actually look at it up close these ponies are mentioned in their descriptions that they're welsh welsh ponies section b which is the smallest riding version of these ponies so there's four sections they go from very small to largest a uh, welsh section a is more pony-like and bulky, like their draft family, um, which have a larger eye and a small head. The Section B, which are these horses, are lighter build, um, made for riding, but their max height is 13.2 hands high, which is very small. <laughs> and there's Welsh Section C, which is a cob type that's rideable. Um, they're a bit bigger, bulkier, kind of chunky and then there's section d which is a full cob type um these are the biggest of the welsh horses and are the largest so with that in mind i want to go more into the depth of why i don't really like how they portrayed the welsh section b welsh section a horses are resembled by a large eye which is part of their draft blood where section b's are more represented in their hackney and thoroughbred blood i feel like their eye is absolutely massive for their skull i get that they're supposed to have large eyes and that is mentioned in the section a but not section b so i don't i don't know <laughs> i feel like they're a little too drafty Especially in that their eye is huge. It's too big even for a cartoon and I feel like their eyelashes are so long that it makes them look even bigger. And their eyelashes are extra long compared to the other horses. They're just a little too dramatic. Welsh, Welsh ponies do have a bit of a dished face, especially section B and A. But I don't know, I feel like Star Stable has this tendency to really dish faces on horses that have dished faces, like the Arabian. So I don't know. I feel like it's a little dramatic of a dish. Oh yeah, also with the eyes, with, with the way that Star Stable positions their horse's eyes very forward to make them look more human, um, with how large they are, they have their really weird like bug eye effect like the Connemaras have. It's off-putting and creepy, and I hope I never have to look at them head-on ever again. And they have a small head, and that might look weird, but that is actually a characteristic of the breed. So, for the proportions of their body, their legs seem a little bit short. Like, I, I feel like they could have made their back just slightly shorter or their legs just a little bit longer so it looks more proportional. <laughs> um, and their shoulder is very large. They did this in the, the other Welsh ponies too, the generation before this. Their shoulder was huge and their chest was huge, which makes them look a little more draftier. That whole rectangle of their torso and hip and shoulder is a little weird. Everything else about them looks okay. Like I said, the, the face is a little too dished. All right, with that being said, out of a 10, like a 7.5. They look very much like Welsh ponies, but all of the Welsh pony um, features were really exaggerated. Right away, their stance is a little... They do that thing that... I forget which horse it was, but one of the horses, when they stand, it was the thoroughbred. They lean forward slightly, and they're this joint totally buckled inwards. Their right back leg actually kind of breaks a little bit and bends forward when it really, really should not. That's definitely a broken leg. They're like very much on the verge of their... I forget what that's called. Okay, that is the hawk. That's what I thought. All right, the walk. Interesting. I... Huh. The head goes down. I actually, I like the head. 
and the hip and spine movement are actually pretty nice. It's not terrible, but the this front foot, I feel like, yeah, there's a weird bend. Its, it's foot is very weighted, as if all of its weight is being put on that foot, but that wouldn't happen until this leg is completely vertical under the shoulder. <laughs> it's weird looking. So it looks like he's somehow managing to drop all of his weight on that foot the moment it hits the ground, which is impossible. The back feet look okay, apart from the fact that it's like a pixel away from hitting the front foot. And the trot, I feel like that's definitely recycled from something. And yeah, you can see the point of impact and where the weight drops. Like, that looks more natural compared to that stage in the walk where it, it was very heavy. And then once the leg leads more under the horse and it becomes vertical, you can see more pressure is being dropped on that joint. Yeah, that's okay. I, I feel like the front legs don't really fit the animation that well. Like, they look short. <laughs> oh, yeah. What happened? They're... They're quite long, and then they shorten when he starts trotting. The canner... Whoa, okay. I was gonna say I like it until I looked up at his head. I like... I like the legs. I feel like that's okay. They stretch a little bit too far. Like, that's unnecessary. But I don't... Why is the head doing that? I don't understand why that that's happening, like he's arching. The mid gallop, I really like the tail. The tail arches kind of... Ooh. Okay, I'm okay with the head movement on this because it's a little faster, but what is going on with his leg? Why? Whoa! Excuse me? That's broken, bro. Either either this this leg should be straight, or this hoof should be tilted down more because that looks totally broken. <laughs> and this back hoof raises a lot. Why <laughs> Why is he lifting it so high? That is bad. There's a moment where it looks okay. Like that looks okay. And then it just falls apart as their stride lands. A full gallop. Yeesh. The legs look okay. It's It looks like a pony gallop. <laughs> it looks so weird. Why? I f yeah, their legs are kind of out of timing. And I- <laughs> Whoa. If you look at the neck, there's a weird wiggly thing going on, especially in the lower part near his chest. Yeah, like why- You don't need to do that. I feel like maybe if the curve was closer to like here? <laughs> It would look normal, but the throat is being stretched out very... Ew! <laughs> Ew! Alright, and then I'll look at both hard stops because I know they're going to be different. Okay, the hard stop is a skid. It's kind of nice. I like... I, I don't know if I like the... The jump in their front legs is kind of slow. <laughs> the petrified look on his face. Okay, and then I know there's a separate one of you run into the wall. Oh, uh, much more simple. The tail is very weird when that happens. <laughs> okay, that one's 100% unfinished. They just slapped that on there so there was something there. <gasps> oh! Oops. Okay. Well, regardless, that animation is 100% unfinished. I think they just put that on there so the horse did something when you ran into a wall. Um, okay, I've been waiting for this. I wanted to look at the rear so bad. What? The trailer was completely different. Is there a s- Oh! Hang on a second. Um, okay. So, there's a rear, and then if you press spacebar when you're standing still, they do an excited bounce. 
<laughs> I thought that was just the rear animation. So this is the rear, which I, I, I don't mind. It's not crazy and it's not too subtle. That's okay. I, I quite like that actually. And then spacebar is this... I, <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I was gonna say, it does look like the horse is just excited. I guess, yeah, it's cute. I mean, it's just kind of like uh, pointless though. <laughs> oh yeah, the reverse. <clears throat> Very dramatic. They don't look over their shoulder, which is nice, but their legs do not need to move that crazy. And they do that thing where their front end dips down and it shortens their front legs. Uh, canter jump. Simple. They- okay, that's a bad sign. Their back feet are kicking, which is weird. The front end is nice, though. And the mid gallop. Uh-oh. <laughs> their back feet- why do they buck like that? Why do they kick? That's so unnecessary. And then the full gallop. They do it again. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like, haha, playful, but I wouldn't prefer that, honestly. <laughs> They're even too short for the camera! So these horses have their d default, which is um, this simple mane with a very long forelock and a single braid up front that you can barely notice. Uh, and then there's this, which is a shorter version of that. It's got a flat cut off, shorter forelock. It's kind of swept to the side. Why? That's really weird. It looks like you put a hair gel in it. And then there's this, simple braids. Braids the forelock and it braids the tail. It weirdly makes the mane extra long. Oh, well, like, okay, it's fitting for this. There's a plain long one that goes all the way to their shoulder. Uh, and then there's this cut off. Oh, and then there's also a roached version. There's button braids, which I like. And it braids the tail. And then there are shorter braids. Okay, so you got your long braids and your short braids. I like the button braids, but I also don't want to drop 20 star coins on this horse, so I'm not going to get them. <laughs> a total score on, on these uh, gates out of five. Uh, like a three. I can't give this something really high because of the weird neck movement and the strange leg placements. They're not good, but they're not a nightmare. That gives this horse a total of 14 out of 20. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of people on. We'll see if we can even get any interviews. Ah, I see you are a liver chestnut connoisseur as well. What is your favorite feature about ponies? Aw, their special little move, it honestly just makes me happy. <laughs> That's probably their best thing about them, to be honest. What is the worst thing about the Welsh ponies? The new ponies, I guess. The eyes. <laughs> Happy face. My eyes! What is the worst, worst feature? I think SSO could have done it better on the body shape of the Welsh. You are absolutely right. Why on earth did you buy that color? She's the only one I've seen so far on the Bay Roan. I haven't seen anyone else. I bought this color because it's unique in the game, and SSO does not have a lot of roans. That's fair. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, leave a like so I know. Leave a comment what you think about these horses, because I would love to know. Subscribe for more, uh, hit the bell, because I post very inconsistently, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye!